Boy, it's great to hear that organ. I hope the sermon measures up to what you did. Um, Tom Stahl is with us today playing the organ again, and we're delighted to have you here, Tom. And he even brought his own little peanut gallery, so we're delighted and welcome all of you. Paul's away for a couple of weeks of vacation, and uh, he asked me to preach this this uh, Sunday. And I got, I got to thinking, I, I was up here most of the time for 14 years until I retired in 2013. And uh, for the last almost nine years, I've been sitting out where you are. And I'm to tell you, it's a lot more relaxing to be where you are than being up here. But we'll do what we can do. We want to welcome those of you here, those of you who are with us online. We're going to be uh, kind of old school today because we're not going to have much technology. So uh, you do have hymnals in front of you, and you can use those as we move through the, the morning. Isabel Gepford is our liturgist for the whole month, correct, of August. So we're delighted to have, have you here. Uh, also, we're invited to coffee hour following the service, and we invite you to, to have more time to, to discuss and be with one another then. And we, Helen Ann Scoura has a special guest here. Go ahead, stand up, Helen Ann, and introduce, introduce your friend. Vancouver, Canada, or Washington? Okay. Well, well, good to good to have you here with us. Good, good. Well, welcome. Good to good to have you here, as with our other our other guests. I invite you now, just again, to take a couple of deep breaths as we slow down. We come to this place to mindfully be here for the next hour uh, simply to be in touch with your own spirit and certainly to listen to that still small voice of our creator, our loving and our giving Lord. Amen. Worship. God has given us this day. God has now endures forever. God has gathered us in this place. There are many places we could be, but God has brought us here. God's steadfast love endures forever. 